Hello, I'm Gary C and today I'll be talking to you about an age-old question Are you okay? <laughs> Gary C! Are you okay? Something I've been asked a lot the last few weeks because I haven't been posting my face on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube and people have wondered where I am uh, which is very, very lovely of you all. Um, even though I've been tweeting and posting other pictures on Instagram and stuff, um, I haven't been posting my face. So people have been, well, you're not on Instagram story as much anymore and, and things like that. And the reason is, is because I haven't been okay. Um, I've just felt very low in my mood. Um, my depression and anxiety have been very, very high um, because in the UK, we are in our third lockdown now. And it has now, it's gone from, oh, this is great for me as someone with depression and anxiety and panic attacks. This is great because I'm not having to go anywhere. I'm not having to give an excuse as to why I can't make it somewhere. And we're, we're just indoors all the time. Great. But now it's getting to the point where these four walls are getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And that's not just because I've been buying lots of Funko Pops. Um, let me show you. <laughs> Can you see them? There's loads there. They're all on the walls there. It's just been a hobby that's just really taken off. I remember years ago saying um, to myself and to friends, like, oh, I love your Funko Pops, but I can't, I can't get into it because I'll just take it way to the extreme. Well, it's too late now. But it brings me joy and I, and I love them. And I'm currently trying to get together loads of like, little nostalgic pieces, create a little display. Anyway, <laughs> are you okay? I'm feeling better today, but as you can see, I am in my Disney pyjamas and my dressing gown, which seems to be the uniform of lockdown 3.0. Um, I'm just sat here snuggling. I've got my um, weighted blanket. Um, I will put the name of it on screen now because I can't remember. It begins with an M, I think. I got it for my 40th birthday in November. And, um, well, let's do a quick review of that, shall we? Just quickly whilst we're here. So it is, um, because I'm six foot, this is a nine kilogram one because you get them in sort of accordance with your weight and your height. Nine kilograms, bit of a nightmare to put on. Um, but once it was on, like the inside bit was on the soft outside bit, great. Um, the first few weeks I had it, I, I was just literally sat around my room with it on all the time because it was great for my anxiety. It, it gave me comfort, it g gave me pressure, like it, it just, I don't know how it works. It just worked. Um, but then I started to realise that it became too much when I was having a severe anxiety attack and I just wanted to kick it off. And in the night I often kick it off because I just feel like it's crushing me or I, I'm panicking anyway and then it feels like it's on me. But that's very rare that it gets to that point. Um, I do find that if you have it on too much, you do get used to it. So one thing I do is I sort of have it on the bed and sometimes I'm in it, sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I have it on the floor and just have my normal covers. Sometimes I don't. Um, but overall, I'd give it a four out of five. It has helped with my anxiety. Um, I was going to do a whole video on it, but everything I've said here is pretty much what you need to know. It's really good. Um, it is washable. We recently unzipped it and took out the weighted part and washed it and now it's even more soft than it was already so it's great but it is very heavy. This is just one tiny corner. Like you hear the weight in it, like it is very heavy. But it's a weighted blanket. But anyway, <laughs> back to the video. I knew I wasn't okay when I slept for nearly two days straight with very little gap in between. I know I'm not okay when I'm barely eating anything. Um, I know I'm not okay when I forgot to order in my antidepressants and nearly ran out. I know I'm not okay when I'm not posting my face online at all because I hate the way I look, because I feel like I look too tired, I look depressed or whatever that is. Um, and so, I feel like the way to combat this is to not let it get that far. My advice to you, to those of you in the same situation, is to ask yourself, 
how am I feeling today? Rather than just plodding along, and when people say to me, how are you? I say, oh yeah, just trotting along, you know, just getting on with it. Not really a good response. Not great for them if they're worried about you, not great for you if you're worried about you, or in terms of helping you. In retrospect, I would say the best thing to do is to check in with yourself. Even if it means putting a little thing in your phone or writing down a checklist of things that you sort of check in with yourself for. Am I hungry? Am I tired? Do I need to rest? Do I need to be on my own? Do I need to talk to someone? And I feel like having your own little checklist of are you okay um, will possibly help. Hopefully that will help some of you. Um, I'm not a psychiatrist or counsellor or anything like that. I'm just someone on the internet posting their thoughts and I just wanted to share that with you. That's what I've been confronted with the last few days. I've just been asked by so many people, are you okay? And my usual response is, yeah, just trotting along. But in actual fact, I'm not okay. And I'm, I'm now putting in place things that I need to do in order to feel better. And one of those is sleep. Though I have slept for a couple of days, I needed it. I was so exhausted from not sleeping and just going round the clock just wide awake overthinking. So I put that in. I do need to eat more and drink more water because I'm very, very dehydrated and that can really aggravate your anxiety levels. And just look after yourselves. Take care. I'll speak to you soon. Mwah.